Hello everyone, Chris here with Platinum Reviews. We are back with The Thing, this time around Bloodhounded. I'm going to warn you now, this level is so stupid. And if you're watching this video, then you probably know that. Uh, sorry for the long clip, uh, for the first clip. The areas around here are very, very confusing. So uh figured this one was going to help to try and locate one of the tents to have it a little bit longer. Uh, as you can see from that... Uh, tractor we are in that area we're going to be shooting these flares and kind of going along this path while you're going along this path you're going to see the first collectible tent off to the side so go ahead and shoot that we are collecting five tents in this area so just kind of pay attention for them they're normally they're all going to be outside there are none inside so you know just something to keep in mind uh, we're running along this path and there is going to be another tent right in here. This is along the story path. So you shouldn't have any issues finding this one. This one's pretty easy to get to. Uh, from there, we are going to be in this area. Now, I kind of ran around. You, you're supposed to go inside there, but uh, I kind of found another area using uh, the propane tanks and came over here. This is part of the story path as well. So it's kind of off to the side on it. You'll find it after you get done with this area, but you can do it that way too. Um, from here, we are inside. This is uh, where you should have went, but if you wanted to be crazy like me and use propane tanks, then you, know, you can go a little bit further. So uh, right there is the Foxo body part. And we're going to grab that. Now, there are two of the proto parts in here. Right here is the green proto part. And you'll have to pick it up and bring it along. Unfortunately, you do have to move further in the story before collecting that. Or not really in the story, but further into the area. Also, right in that same area is going to be the enemy that you have to destroy to get the weapon proto part. And then in that same area is going to be a KFC chicken bucket underneath a desk. I am very surprised that I found that one because uh, that one is very well hidden. Now, from here, we're turning in the proto parts. Uh, as you can see, we're in the next area. This is after you finish the puzzle, you're going to unlock the two vending machines. So go back and grab the weapon proto part and grab the green proto part. Uh, and then we should be good with these two for the area. And there are a few collectibles outside. We're going to be going outside again. So just something to keep in mind. Now, when you go outside, the first thing you'll notice is uh, somebody waiting for you. Who could it be? Well, you'll find out just now. Oh, it's it's Knight Rider. But right off to the right is going to be another one of the tents. Go ahead and hit that. And that's going to be number four or five. Now, we're going to open this to go for Knight Rider. My suggestion here is... Pick a character and just move along the path, slowly lighting up the flares as you move along because this area sucks. So uh, immediately don't plan on beating this in the first go around. Plan on getting all the flares, getting them all knocked out, meeting him at the finish line and him telling you you suck and then running back and starting it again. Uh, this was my second attempt of doing it where I actually beat him because I did it that way and that made it to where it was very easy to beat him. So uh, go ahead and talk to him after beating him and you will have the vending machine right next to you that you can turn it in for the next proto part. And from here, we are going to be in the center area. This is going to be one of the areas where you're getting the blood uh, blood pack. You're going to see a chest. There's also the amber in this area, which I'll show you later. Uh, for some reason, I didn't find it when I initially went in there. So I went back to this area and I found it. So uh, we are getting the uh, other thing in this area right now. So as you can see, we did have that um, that chest. And then right along this path when you're going up is going to be the tent. That is five of five, the last chest. Now, or the last uh, collectible for the chest. Now you're going to have this, which is going to be very helpful because it's going to show you where the end is. So go in there and grab the collectible chest. And then we have another thing to do. We are going to be going in here and you are going to see a uh, chest. So we're going to be right here. Go ahead and hit on that chest. And guess what? It's a battle chest. Oh, snap. Defeat all the enemies and collect yourself that beautiful silver crown. The nice thing about that area that we're in right now is there is another crown in the area. That's right. You have a vinyl tube that's going to be pretty much right next to you. So what we're going to do from there is we're going over to the right and going to the vinyl tube. It's only 30,000, which is great because I did die like once or twice in this area. So uh, yeah, you don't have to store up too much of your vinyl in order to get the crown like some areas. Now, once you get that, you're going to notice the other chest in the area. 
turn into the Dilophosaurus and go ahead and flip all of the Funko switches in the area. It's pretty easy to do if you're the Dilophosaurus, you have more than enough time. So uh, go ahead and grab those four and then run back to the chest to unlock it and net yourself another silver crown. All right, now we are going to be going back and getting some stuff that we missed the first time. Now, from here, we are going to turn into Childs. We're going to be doing something here. We're going back to this area. You can do this when you first go to this area, uh, or you can do it after, like I did, because I didn't know about it initially. Uh, you're going to have to jump up here, hit the two flares. Uh, you do have to build the jump pad for that, and then Childs to burn the chest, which will uh, allow you to open it for another silver crown. Go ahead and grab that, baby. Now we're going back to this area. This is that middle area I was talking about that uh, the Amber's at. You're going to put a propane tank here. And the funny thing is I had the propane tank there and it burnt the, it melted the uh, snow right there. And my stupid self didn't notice. Now back inside for the last puzzle, you need three, eight, 13, six, 28, and seven. Pick somebody with a laser ability and you can unlock it. You can use number five and figure out the puzzle, but those the answer for you make it easier.